Welcome everyone to another video of our facts only series. Today we are going to discuss another water soluble vitamin, it's folic acid or vitamin B9. In this short video we are going to discuss the chemistry, function, dietary sources, recommended daily intake deficiency and toxicity if present of folic acid. Now let's discuss the chemistry very briefly. Uh, folic acid, you find it in food, you find it in uh, grains that are fortified with the folic acid. The body converts it to folate. You need folate for the synthesis of both DNA and RNA. This is why it's essential for red blood cell formation and division of the cells. Now the body cannot make folate it is water soluble like I said it's absorbed in the first part of the small intestine the liver metabolizes it and then the kidneys will get rid of any excess now folinic acid is given to people who take a medication for rheumatoid arthritis called methotrexate and it reduces uh, the uh, toxicity of methotrexate and the coenzyme of folic acid is called tetrahydrofolate and this coenzyme is essential for the above mentioned reactions. Folic acid is available in green leafy vegetables, meat, seafood, yeast. Many countries including the United States started long time ago to add folic acid to whole grains and cereals to prevent neural tube defects in babies, in newborn babies. So uh, if you are on a balanced diet, you probably do not have folic acid deficiency. Now, folic acid deficiency leads to many symptoms, GI symptoms, gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, glossitis, which is inflammation of the tongue. Anemia is called megaloblastic anemia because the red blood cells become big and nucleated. Normally, they don't have a nucleus, and you see that also in B12. So if you see that kind of anemia, you really have to check for both. B12 deficiency and folic acid deficiency, skin hyperpigmentation, the skin becomes dark and pigmented, uh, also depression and problems with cognition. What causes folic acid deficiency? Well, malnutrition, if you're not on a balanced diet, hemolytic anemia, when you have the kind of anemia where the blood, uh, the red blood cells break down, alcoholism causes many, many uh, vitamin deficiencies. Some medications like methotrexate, which is used for rheumatoid arthritis, phenytoin used for seizures, and trimethoprin, which is used with sulfa as an antibiotic. Now, uh, many pregnant women, lactating women, uh, can be deficient in folic acid. This is why they need to take supplements regardless. Infants fed goat milk exclusively may become folic acid deficient, and also patients on hemodialysis. Now, what about toxicity? It's unclear if there is toxicity. However, it's not recommended to take more than one milligram uh, per day. The excess is excreted by the kidney because it's a water-soluble vitamin. The recommended daily requirement is 400 micrograms per day or 0.4 milligrams per day. In pregnancy and lactation, it's a little bit more. It's 600 micrograms. And uh, it is essential, again, uh, to take folic acid because it reduces the risk of serious birth defects, uh, the neural tube defects such as spina pifida. Um, fortunately, you can measure folic acid easily to detect uh, deficiency. I'm going to end here. We'll see you in the next video.